The most influential teacher I'd definitely say is I met this year, uh, Mr. Petty, my AP Calculus AB teacher. Uh, he was there more than just a teacher. He was there for me emotionally and academically. There were some rough periods uh, in my life this year, not just academically, but also athletically. After I tore my hamstring, it was like my world was falling apart. I wanted to be a professional athlete, but after I tore it, it was like my fall season was over in a flash. I only got to play the first month of it. So now I went into a state of distress where even my grades began to slip and they slipped pretty heavily. And one of those being my AP Calculus AB grade. And he talked to me about it. He would sit me down. He would ask me, is everything okay? Like, I know the class is hard, but like, is everything okay? And that's when I would explain to him like what had just happened to me. And he was always there uh, to offer extra support academically. But what really shocked me was the amount of emotional support that he offered. You, you wouldn't be sitting here right now talking with us if you hadn't turned it around. So mentally, what was the moment where you got to the point where, hey, this, I can't let this injury that has changed something outside of school affect me in school? Uh, there was a day that I went to work with my parents and my parents have a pretty hard job. They do landscaping. So it was, it was a very hot day and we were outside it was around October, so it was like generally not really that hot, but that day it was pretty hot. And I saw how hard they were working, and I realized that they, they didn't come to this country for me to throw something such as school away because of a little injury. Uh, because to me, it seemed like the end of the world, but in reality, it was just a hiccup. And I'll have probably even bigger obstacles in my life. But when I saw that everything that they were doing, everything that they did, and I self-reflected like, I can't throw my life away over one little injury was when I realized like I had to th turn things around. Two years ago, I talked with your sister about the landscaping business and, and she had told me that she basically learned to do everything in the business. Is that the same case, case for you because your dad runs his own, your family runs their own business? For me, it was a little bit different because since I'm a guy in a traditional household, Hispanically, I had to obviously go to work a little bit earlier than her. Like for example, since I was around seven or eight, my summers consisted of going to help my dad. Obviously, you know, I was probably like a little twig. I couldn't really carry much. Most of the tools were heavier than me, but you know, he took me so that he could see like, like where our food came from, where the roof over our head came from, like where the clothes on my body came from. And I was there, you know, even if I could just give him a water bottle, but I was there. And I think that's what really set me apart from every other kid my age was that while they were playing around, you know, I got to see like what backbreaking labor my parents did to make sure that I can further one, my education and to provide the greatest opportunity possible. Notre Dame next fall is just going to be the start of your journey. What is your overall plan beyond college? In a perfect world where everything happens the way I want it to be, I, in the next 10 years, I hope that I will become the corporate lawyer that I aspire to be as I am going to Notre Dame on a pre-law track so that means I'll complete my four years, and then after that I'll apply and hopefully attend law school. And if all things go right, well, yeah, in the next 10 years, it, hopefully I'm a corporate lawyer. One of the themes that you're going to talk about in your speech at graduation is the importance of family. Explain a little bit more about why that is so key to your core values. I want everybody, including my classmates and everybody that attends the ceremony, to see how successful one can be when the people that surround themselves with are that family that would move heaven and earth for them. Mamá y papá, sé que nunca podré devolverles todo lo que hicieron por mí, dejando todo lo que conocían en México, especialmente sus padres, para garantizarme a mi hermana y a mí un futuro mejor. Les hago esta promesa hoy. Los jubilaré y me aseguraré de que nunca, que nunca tengan que trabajar otro día de sus vidas.